sometimes get the dreaded flat line of death on your bid axe where the hash rate still says it's hashing, 2.05 tera hashes, but there's no new shares found. It just sticks to 140 in this case. And you see this normal kind of up and down curve followed by this flat line. So this flat line of death means that your bid axe has crashed. It seems to happen a lot once you've upgraded your bid axe with a new heatsink or a fan or both and everything seems to be running fine but after anything anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours it's hashing away fine and you get this flat on a death and it just it's just crashed and it's very frustrating when you wake up next morning and you found that you know the last six or seven ten hours it's uh, been doing nothing there's quite a lot of people online who are having the same issue and there hasn't been a direct resolve as yet. Some people have indicated that it's uh, dropping out of the Wi-Fi or maybe the pool is dropping out or there's not enough thermal paste on it or your PSU is not up to scratch. Um, there's quite a few um, suggestions as to why it might be flatlining. I've tried um, to resolve it many ways and I, I still haven't been able to. I've even defaulted everything back to um, default settings in terms of the clock rate and the in input voltage and it still does the same thing. So it's very uh, annoying and frustrating. So today I just want to share with you very quickly this amazing Python tool that I found which um, alleviates the problem for now. It doesn't fix the problem but it allows me uh, to not lose any hashing time overnight when it crashes. So this script I want to share with you today is called the Bitax Flat Line Monitor and it's available on GitHub and here's the URL here. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a really easy script to use. Uh, just go to the green code button, hit download zip and expand that to your computer somewhere. Make sure you've got Python 3.11 installed and off you go. Remember, there's no need to download and overcomplicate things by using Visual Studio Code or Git Bash Shell. You don't need any of that kind of stuff. Unless, of course, you want to contribute to this uh, code base and um, commit changes back. It's a really easy script to use. And how it works is that it basically pings your Pitax every minute and it checks if there's any new shares that have been created. If there's no new shares, it assumes that your BitAx has gone into flatline mode and it will do a restart for you. So it means that if it happens at 3 a.m. in the morning when you're in deep REM, it'll just do the work for you. It'll restart your BitAx and keep hashing away, which is fantastic. So it's a really easy script to use. And if you scroll down, it's got a usage here. So you can use it either in a single bit axe mode or a multiple bit axe mode. So single, obviously, you're just checking for one bit axe at a time. And multiple, if you've got multiple bit axes, this is a, a great way to monitor all of them, be it two to 20 bit axes. So the easiest way to do it is uh, in single mode, you can just run Python, the, the name of the script, and then the IP address of your bit axe that you want to monitor. Um, you can put in an optional interval as well in seconds, but it will default to 60 seconds. So what that means is um, it will ping your bit axe every 60 seconds to ensure that the shares are increasing. And if not, it will send a restart, a restart command to your bit axe. For those of you who have got more than one bit axe, you might want to run it in a bit axe multiple mode. So um, in this mode, it's more advanced. You just have to create a, a file called bitaxes.configuration or .conf. And in there, you just put a list of the IP numbers of all your bitaxes in there. It does also retain logs as well and separate text files for all your bitaxes if you want it. And then once you've got this conf file created, you can just simply type in Python bitax flatline monitor with no parameters or IPs after it. And in this mode, it'll know to read the bitaxes.conf file for the IP numbers of all your bitaxes that you want to monitor. Let's fire up the script in single bitax mode for now, and I'll show you how it works. 
So just open a command window on um, your computer. Make sure you've expanded the, uh, the zip file that you downloaded before. So if I go DIR, there's the, uh, the script file. So in this case, I'll just type in uh, Python, the name of the script, so bithax underscore flatline. And again, if you hit tab, it will auto complete like that. Space, and then the IP number that you want to monitor. So in my case, it's 192.168.2.63. Oops, what's happened there? Oh, no, my bad, I've typed Python wrong. Let's start that again. Just go back, P-Y-T-H-O-N, there we go. Python bidx flatline monitor dot pi IP number, enter. Okay, here we go, and it starts to uh, monitor now. So you can see that, um, I'll just open this up a bit. So you can see it's monitoring bit axes or bit axe 192.168.2.63 with interval 60 seconds. It shows the current date timestamp here, the name of the bit axe. So this is taken from the actual host um, that you configured in the axe OS. It's been running up, uh, it's been running, well, it says online for a minute, uh, an hour for uh, minutes right now. You can see it's hashing at two terahashes. ASIC 60 VR67 shares 140. Now this is still stuck from the previous screen. So um, you'll see in about 17 seconds, it will check again. And because the, the shares has not increased, it will assume that it has flatlined and it obviously has in this case. So you'll see it issue a restart command. Here we go. Okay, so no sh new shares detected for BitAx 07. Restarting, it sends the restart command, restart command sent successfully, and it just shows that, that line again from the previous check. And if we wait, we'll uh, see the next check come on. It, it does also keep a, um, a restart tally as well, which is good to see. So if you wake up the next day and you check the logs here, you see it's restarted once or twice, or you know, in my, I've, I've, had, uh, I've had this particular bit axe, which is what's caused me some pain, uh, about 18 times overnight, which is uh, very frustrating. But um, as I said, it's uh, it's better than having it flatline at midnight and then not start again for, you know, seven, eight hours. So let's just wait for the, the next uh, check. 12 seconds later. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's pinged it again. The uptime has been 57 seconds now. Here it is, uh, it's, it's back up hashing at uh, 2 terahash, ASX 57.5, VR temp, it's, it's hashed 14 shares in the last minute since it's restarted, so that's good, So um, and it's restarted once. So we've got another 35 seconds, and hopefully it'll check again, and um, the shares, well hopefully the shares has increased above 14, which means that it's hashing away fine, and shares are being um, found. Again, if that shares does not increase, it will assume it's flatlined and it will issue a restart command again. So we'll just give it um, a few seconds here as well. A few moments later. Okay, so that next line is checked now and you can see that shares has increased from 14 to 31. So everything's running fine. Hash rates dropped down a little bit down to 1.8 terahashes. I'll leave this running for a bit and I'll just show you what the output is. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, just checking back again after about 20 minutes. And you can see that uh, already within 20 minutes, we've had another uh, flat line of death here. After about uptime of around 12, around 13 minutes, you can see uh, we had 100 shares here. And then we're still stuck on 100 shares here. So the script has detected that and done a restart. And it's restarted back here. So it's been up again for almost five minutes oh, now or six minutes now and it's still hashing away with um, and you can see that there's been two restarts in the last 20 minutes so again you can see why this script is a bit of a lifesaver in terms of keeping your bit x up and hashing and contributing shares Okay, so I want to show you also the more advanced option um, that you might want to run if you've got multiple bit axes, which is actually what I run every day. 
I'll, um, I'll cut over to that now and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so this is more for the advanced people who have multiple bit axes that they want to um, monitor for flatlining. I've just uh, controlled C out of this script here. And if I do a DIR here, you'll see that um, we've got the bitaxes.conf file here. I'm going to edit this file and I'll just show you what's in it. bitaxes.conf edit. I've just dragged it over here. Just give me two seconds. Okay, here's the window here. And it's a very simple text file. It's got some settings up here. Um, just a, an option to retain the log, log files for seven days. You can make that how many days you want. Um, you'll see that there's a logs file within that directory that it creates. And um, quite simply, here is a list of bit axes that you want to monitor, one per line. So just put in the IP numbers of each one, um, save the file, and that's all you need to do. So once that uh, file's been updated with your BitAxis IPs, um, all you need to do is type in Python bit tab, so bitax flatline monitor.py with no parameters or no options, and just hit enter. And it'll go away, and there it goes. I'll just um, reduce the screen a bit so you can read it a bit better. Um, so you can see that um, it's picked up the the bitax IPs here, monitoring bitaxes and all the IPs that I had in the .conf file with interval 60 seconds. And you can see here all the names of, of the bitaxes um, here, how long they've been running for. So this first one here, uptime 14 hours and 43 minutes and six seconds, hashing over two terahashes. And again, all the, the usual readouts. Now this is a complete godsend for those of you again with multiple bit axes. It's kind of a set up once and leave it and it will just monitor and do its thing 24 seven. You don't need to do a thing. You can check on every now and then, but it, it is a, yeah, a real lifesaver for those of you who are experiencing uh, crashes or flat lines of death. I do actually have a, um, an old Raspberry Pi 3 that I had lying around. And what I've done is I've set up that Raspberry Pi as a um, constant monitor running this script on it. So it's, I don't need to have my PC on 24 seven, for example, I've just got a little Raspberry Pi running in a corner and it, all it does is monitor my fleet of bit axes and it just runs beautifully and wonderfully. So I might leave it there for today, guys. I hope this script has uh, been very useful and helpful to you guys. Um, leave me a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.